I'm a uh, A2CFC and GVC qualified pilot and if you want to learn a little bit how to fly in cities then maybe watch this video. checking the airspace and this is right on the edge of the flight restricted zone so actually this end we've got to be really careful with because it kind of crosses just across the edge of the cathedral this is the old cathedral so um but the other end which is kind of through there we should be okay at so that's where i'm going to fly so after what was actually a very stormy day yesterday very windy day and we had rain and snow and bits of sleep it's actually a much nicer day today so that the there's virtually no wind and uh, we were here last night trying to sort of suss the area out but it's so windy last night and so cold i mean it just felt like it was about minus five you know with the wind chill and the um the temperature but today's a much nicer day uh beautiful blue skies not a cloud in the sky really but it's yeah a much better day but very cold today so but at least there's no wind chill it's so cold here today I mean, it's about minus one and a half and you've got to be a bit careful of props freezing but there's no frost so if you get lots of heavy frost then potentially you could think about if your props are going to freeze or you need ice on them but it's not really very frosty even though it's cold um, but i'll do a little test flight before i actually go too far up so I'm going to use the Mini 2 because it is quite a congested area, as in there's lots of, of houses about, and, and there are the odd person about wandering about too. But <clears throat> I think um, that's probably the best option. I, I think I could get away with the Air 2 here using my A2 CFC because there are technically no uninvolved people. So many high buildings here. We've got two spires really close. So we've obviously got the main, the cathedral spire up here somewhere. And there's another one of another church um, oh, over there. Um, and it's a bit, I don't really very feel very comfortable here because there's lots of stuff going on. The thing is with the Mini 2 is there's no obstacle avoidance sensor. So if you happen to not to see something or happen to miss something or happen to not see how close you get into the building, you won't know about it until you've hit it. And when the spire is, that must be 80 meters tall, that drone's dead and you've got a watch doesn't fall on anybody as well so I'm going to keep as far away from them as I can.
you ever fly at the Coventry Cathedral, the wildlife here is pretty friendly. I mean, the squirrels especially. There was one a minute ago that tried to climb on my leg thinking I was a tree. Luckily, it realised before it got too far and went away. So even though I came here to look at the um, old cathedral, the new one actually is beautiful too. It's, you've got to look for the beauty, but it's all in there. Um, and it's certainly of its time, but it's still a beautiful building made I think from the same stone actually so it's really beautiful worth looking at too amazing looking at the, the workmanship on it and um, some other cathedrals at a similar sort of age for instance like the Guildford Cathedral that I did a flight round I mean it's still beautiful but you've got stone here you've got really tight tolerances on it it just looks really nice so if you ever come look at this as well it's just amazing if you've enjoyed the video I'd appreciate it if you click that little subscribe button. It helps me, well, it encourages me really to make more videos um, because I know that people want to watch them. If you shared it with a friend or shared it with a Facebook group or, or group of friends, that'd be brilliant if you find it interesting. Um, but if you click the, the subscribe button, the little like button, and even that little bell icon, that'd be brilliant. And it would just help me grow the channel and encourage me to do more videos.